For additional support of the circle, add pieces of tape to the inside of the cylinder. If needed, use a long object like scissors to push the tape down. Make sure half of the tape is secured onto the circle, bending and folding up with the other half on the cylinder. Measure the diameter of the cylinder. To make a cone, make a circle that's larger than the diameter of the cylinder. The radius of the circle for the cone will be two inches. Use a ruler to check where you start drawing your circle and make sure there's plenty of space on the cardboard. Insert a straight pin into the center of the diameter. Use the hole cut into the cardboard to draw a circle. The size of circle can be adjusted based on where the pin goes into the radius. Use a straight edge to trim the cardboard close to the edges of the circle. With the knife, consecutively punch around the edge of the circle with small movements up and down, shifting the cardboard and the knife along the drawn line of the circle. Don't cut all the way through, only through the first two layers of the circle. Go around the circle again, this time applying more pressure to cut the cardboard away from the circle. Make small movements. Find the center of the cardboard, looking for the hole that was punctured when the cardboard was drawn. Use the lines of the cutting mat as a guide. Cut on the back of the circle, scoring straight down the center of the circle. Rotate the circle to score again perpendicularly to the line that was just scored. Keep your hands out of the way of the blade and in the channel of the safety ruler. Bend the cardboard back after each score to make sure the score was cut through both layers. Rotate the circle, dividing each segment in half again. When all eight segments are scored, bend the scores back to make sure the lines are completely scored. Remember not to cut all the way through the scores. Remove one triangle from the circle to create space to bend the circle into a cone. The circle will bend backwards with the scored lines exposed. To have the scored lines inside of the circle, cut a quarter inch between each of the triangles. This allows the cardboard to bend the opposite way. This method can be applied to any of the scoring techniques, including the cylinder, if the exterior of the cylinder is preferred to have the scored lines on the inside. Use the safety ruler to protect fingers when scoring the lines. After two perpendicular lines are scored, position the blade at an angle to cut away the top two layers of the quarter inch scored area. Continue this process 
around the entire circle. If the cone needs to be narrower, remove one or two more triangular pieces. To create smaller planes on the cone, score more lines down the center of the triangular shapes. Continue this process all around the circle, removing a quarter inch between all of the triangles. To tape the cone together, bring the two edges together, horizontally place a piece of tape on the outside of the cone. This is just a holder. Take another piece of tape vertically along the seam of the cone. Push that tape down, securing the seam. Add another piece of tape horizontally over the vertical piece of tape for extra insurance. Cut a piece of tape vertically to place along the exterior seam. As that tape is being put into position, remove the horizontal piece of tape. This tape will cover the seam and secure the cone. Fold the extra piece of tape underneath the cone, cutting down the center Trim the top of the tape nicely to show good craftsmanship. Any remaining piece of tape can be trimmed. To tape the cone onto the cylinder, place a piece of tape along the edge of the cylinder. Continue the tape around until it meets the start. Cut the tape. Cut the tape one half inch all the way around the cylinder using the scored lines as a guide. Gently fold back the tabs of the tape. Place the cone on top of the cylinder. Use each tab of the tape to secure the cone to the cylinder. Continue this all the way around.